welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be taking a look at our wonderful inventory and finishing off where we left off. Uh, so we're just going to now basically build our slots and get the functionality working behind it. Um, this may leak into another episode. I hope I'm hoping it doesn't, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how we go. I don't want to keep these videos too long. I want to keep them short and sweet. But so without further ado, let's get stuck in. So. We had our inventory and we set up basically the button and we set up our slot. So now to get this all working. So if we head over into our uh, event graph for the inventory toot widget and we want to use the event construct. That's the first thing we want to do. Uh, and the first thing we need to do is cast to the third, cast to third person character. And we want to get by a character like so. And then we're going to promote this to a variable and we'll call this variable uh, TPC. Uh, then we need to create two custom events. One is going to be called uh, build inventory. And the next one is going to be uh, build equipped slot uh, and this way whatever we have in our equip slot or in our inventory should get built from this and then all we're going to do for this bit is uh, call those functions build inventory and uh, build equip slot so let's begin with the equip slot even though we haven't actually gotten a, a way to equip it yet we want to be able to see it when we click on our inventory so the first thing we need to do uh, now I did cast to the third person character here again. Um, I can't remember why I did that. I think it's because once you open this only runs, this will run when you first open the inventory. But the problem is, is I found when I clicked on the button afterwards, it doesn't rebuild because this information basically becomes outdated. Well, this information becomes outdated. So we call it again. Um, and then we'll set this. To be honest, you probably you could tr test it out. It doesn't matter. You could you could test it out without this being here, but it, it's up to you. Uh, it should work without it, but it's obviously more a case of just in case it doesn't. Uh, so we need a branch now. We need to do a check to see if we have anything in our inventory slot. So we're going to grab our third person character reference. We're going to get our equip slot, that equipped item, and we're going to break it. And what we're going to do is check to see if this is equal, equal to none. Um, now, if that's true, we're going to need to get our equip uh, item image and set its visibility. Oh, yeah, that was right. And we'll need two of these. So if it's true, it's, it's nothing. There's nothing in our equipment slot. We can hide that image. Uh, but if there is something in there, we want to set to visible. Uh, and then we just need to set that image. So let's get our uh, get another reference to this image. And we're going to set the brush like so. Now we need to get that brush and make a brush. So we're going to uh, make slate brush. And then we should have everything we need for the equipment slot. And then we're going to get the item icon. We need to get the item icon. And, oh, gosh. And pull out and plug that icon in there. Um, so, yeah, that's literally all we should need for the equipment slot. But we won't be able to test this just yet until we actually build our inventory. So let's create that comment se section and say build uh, equip equipment slot. And now we're going to build our inventory. So we're going to create our uniform grid. So we need a couple of variables. These are going to be integers and we're going to have inventory column. And we're also going to have, we'll set that to an integer. And we're also going to have uh, in row like so. 
and um, we need to set these to zero every time we build our inventory. So plug these two in and leave the sets uh, empty, just as zero. Uh, and then we need to get our inventory. So we're going to now get that third person character reference again. We're also going to um, get inventory. And we are going to run that for a, through a for each loop. There's no break required for this because we want it to run through the entirety of the inventory. And... Um, we then want to, we're going to actually utilize the inventory slot now. So um, we will actually, oh, we need to add one variable to our item slot. Uh, and that variable is going to be uh, the, it's going to be another integer. And it's going to be called the uh, item slot. And that's the slot that it sits at in the inventory. Uh, then we want to go to here and we want to so we want to create widget and you probably already guessed it, but that widget is going to be our slot widget. So I'm using the toot one, the one we just created. And from this uh, inventory, we need uh, this inventory slot. We need to uh, set the item slot like so. Uh, and then we plug that array index in. There we go. Uh, and then we want to now we're going to utilize the, the uniform grid. We're going to get that uniform grid and we're going to add child to uniform grid. And we'll plug this in. And now we're going to use the inventory row and the inventory column like so. So this is what we should have so far. Uh, now it's just a case of setting the um, information that we'll want in that slot. So for example, the image. So first things first from uh, this, we want to get item slot image like so. Uh, let's try and keep it as neat as we can. So it doesn't look confusing. So we get that item slot image from our uh, widget and we're going to set slot. Uh, we'll set brush. That's it, set the brush. Plug it in, and then we make the slate brush, like so. Bring that down. And from here, we're gonna get, we're gonna break the information so that we can get that item icon. And then we can bring that up here, we can close that one down, and that's how it should look. There we go. Once we set the slot brush, there's not really much else to do because uh, it already has its item slot. Uh, so we can call it from the inventory whenever we need to, to, to do things. Uh, but what we do need to do is every time this runs, we need to increase our column. So we're gonna get our inventory column and we're going to increment that int. Then we're gonna check to see if this is equal equal to five. And then obviously call a branch node. Now, if it is equal equal to five, we want to uh, increase our row. So increment the row uh, by one. And then after that, we set our inventory column to zero. And that's all coming off the true. So if it is equal equal to five, we increment our row and then we set inventory column to zero so that the next time it goes through, it knows it's row one, column one, two, three, four, five, then row two, one, two, three, four, five. That's how we're doing that. And that should build your inventory just fine. And we should be able to test this now as well. So we'll comment on this and say uh, build inventory. And that should be that done. Right. Compile and we'll test. Press play. Let's go pick up a couple of items. And if we press I, oh, there's nothing there. Okay, interesting. Uh, so, what have we not done?
Ah, so I realized where I went wrong. It's uh, I didn't plug this into the content. Uh, so it was just adding nothing. So let's try that again. And it should work. We press I now, there we go. Now we've got this horrendous gap here. The way to get rid of that is if you uh, go back into the inventory and click on the uniform grid and size to content, uh, it, sh it will look like this, but we know it's in the correct position. And what we then do is um, in our slot, we're going to increase it by uh, 120. And then we'll just move this into the middle, roughly. Um, if you set it to 10 and 10, it should be bang in the middle. Uh, position 10 and 10, there we go. And that'll give you a little bit of space in between each one. And if we test it again, it should be all next to one another. There we go, that looks a lot better. Um, Okay, so that's our um, inventory being built. Um, there's a couple of other things we do need to do. Uh, where am I? I'm looking in the wrong thing here and here. Um, we have we have to set up the equipped item button is one of the things we need to do. So let's do that next. So it's done. Uh, we're going to do that on clicks. There we go. And, and then we can just do all the rest of the stuff in the item slot and we are good to go. Um, I might leave it. I might do this and then do the item slot in the end and then in a third video just so it's, it's all kind of separated out a bit better. Um, okay, so let's finish off with this then. So the first thing we want to do is get our third person character. We want to uh, get our equipped item. And the first thing we want to do is, uh, well, we want to break it, but we want to check to see if it's equal, equal to none. Because if it's equal, equal to none, we don't really want to do anything um, because it's empty, right? We can click on it, but it's, it's not going to do anything. So off the true, um, We'll need to do another function, but I think we'll house this actually in a proper function. So we'll create a new function called the unequip slot, and we'll set that up next time. So that'll be part of the next video. So unequip slot, we want to, then we'll have to clear our uniform grid. So clear children like so. Uh, and then it's the same thing again. So build uh, equipment slot and then build our inventory. So just to help you understand what happen what's happening here. So I did create a function that unequips the slot. So it basically works out whether we have that item, etc. cetera. Um, and we'll basically just control what happens with that item that we remove. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then we're clearing our inventory out and then rebuilding everything. Basically, the reason we do that is because if we don't, the item will um, just not update. So you'll remove the equipment slot, but the inventory won't update, so it will just won't appear, and you'll have to close down and reopen the inventory to see the changes. So this just takes care. These three panels just takes care of the inventory and updates it, so you're seeing the right information. Um, we can't test this out yet because obviously we haven't set the unequip slot and we haven't set up the actual item button. But next episode we will have all of that done, um, and it will should all be working finished in the third episode. Um, I will call this remove equip item. Um, and that's pretty much all the code apart from the function we're going to create next episode. That's all the code done in the inventory. And then it's just the item slot. So we should be able to finish this all up in the third episode pretty nicely. 
Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you're enjoying this series and it's making sense and you're following along. But if you have any questions, join the Discord. I'm always in there. Um, and you can always ask me anything. I'm more than happy to sort of help out and stuff. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, uh, feel free to do it. It's free to do. And you can always change your mind down the line. And uh, I'll see you next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.